Yellowstone supervolcano magnitude 7.2 quake of 1959 caused thousands of aftershock quakes to rumble supervolcano 60 years later. Why is that? In 2017 and 18, a small region of Yellowstone National Park was struck with more than 3,000 earthquakes. According to a new study, many of them may be the aftershocks from a single massive quake that struck 60 years ago. This is by Brandon Spector on Life Science. A swarm of thousands of tiny earthquakes that rumbled below Yellowstone National Park in 2017 and 18 might be the long-awaited aftershocks of a much larger quake, which struck 60 years ago. In a paper published just recently, April 30th, in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, researchers examined the seismicity of some 3,345 earthquakes that occurred near Yellowstone's Maple Creek in the northwest corner of the park from June 2017 to March 2018. They found that for about half of those minor earthquakes, seismic waves below the park rippled along the same fault line and in the same exact direction as the waves behind the so-called Hebgen Lake event. That was the mammoth magnitude 7.2 earthquake that struck there in 1959. The team did not see any signs that this cluster of quakes was caused by magma movement under the park leading them to conclude that the rumbles were in fact a suit of seismic aftershocks 60 years, six decades in the making. These kinds of earthquakes in Yellowstone are very common. Study co-author Keith Coper, director of the University of Utah Seismograph Stations, he said in a statement, we know that the University of Utah is in charge of monitoring the Yellowstone supervolcano earthquakes. He said, however, this swarm was a bit, a little bit longer and had more events than normal. How unusual is it for an earthquake to continue rumbling 60 years after the fact? Well, according to the study authors, it's not unheard of, and similar cases have popped up nearby in North America. The magnitude 6.9 earthquake that struck Bora Peak, Idaho in 1983 was still producing aftershocks as recently as 2017. The researchers wrote, and it's hypothesized that under certain conditions, aftershocks can last for hundreds of years. Unlike floods, hurricanes, and other natural disasters, earthquakes do not happen as a single discrete event in time, Copper said, but rather can evolve over decades or even centuries. While about half of the Maple Creek mini quakes seemed to be ripples of the 1959 disaster, the other half, which occurred a little further south, seemed to tie seemed tied to the natural activity in the magma pit below the uh, in the in the park. In the as the researchers wrote, so half of the ripples were due to the 1959 mega quake of 7.2 Richter, and the other half have to do with the magma chamber below the, uh, in the caldera, below the lake. Now, Yellowstone remains a hotbed of seismic and volcanic activity, which often go hand in molten hand. Much of this park sits over a large volcanic caldera, which is responsible for the routine eruptions of the geysers, like Old Faithful. A gigantuan volcano beneath the park erupted three times, in the last 2.1 million years, and some scientists speculate it could be due for a fourth eruption. We're talking about the super eruptions, because there have been other eruptions which were smaller. Another big eruption was 70,000 years ago, and from what uh, the USGS has uh, told us, another 80 eruptions took place since then, just about one every 6,000 years, and from what uh, Lowenstein tells us, were overdue for another eruption 10,000 years. Luckily, the authors of the new study said the aftershocks of the Hebgen Lake quake are located outside the Yellowstone caldera and likely have little to no bearing on the volcanic activity in the Yellowstone supervolcano. Now, if you're looking for portents of doom, look elsewhere perhaps to the 80 years worth of man-made trash that spewed 
from the nearby Ear Spring geyser just last year, they said. The earthquake activity in Yellowstone has been very quiet yesterday, the day before, and even today. We have not had any reported earthquakes there. That does not mean that it's not shaking, though. It means that they have not been recorded for us to see. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.